All too often, historic buildings fall victims to the constant push for new construction. Well, everyone benefits when beloved old structures can be restored, though, and resuited for use in the present day. Such is the case of our first segment. Oh, coincidentally, Lynn Sittler, a Crossroads contributor from decades past, has resurfaced to bring us the story of the Central Station Hotel. It's a train station. It's a hotel. And it's also sort of a radio station where disc jockeys spin records piping Memphis music into every room of the Central Station Hotel. The Central Station Hotel has opened in downtown Memphis as a jewel in the crown of Memphis, Tennessee. And who better to oversee the train station's transformation into a luxury hotel than McLean Wilson? My grandfather founded Holiday Inns in 1952, and what we're doing here at Central Station um, is an attempt to do the exact same thing he did relative to um, being innovative. Uh, what we're attempting to do is really create an authentic, genuine expression of what Memphis, Tennessee is. The building itself has a storied past, so there's a lot of architectural details and design details that pay homage to the past, uh, but we also wanted to make it relevant for not only today, but for the foreseeable future, and so we um, had to create some modernity to it as well, um, and, and really the big notion for what this hotel offers that a lot of hotels around the world don't um, is a, a music lounge um, with uh, world-renowned speakers acoustically dialed in perfectly and an album wall full of records that all harken back to some tie to Memphis music to really showcase that which Memphis has done for for many many decades and that's put out really wonderful music and thanks to the technical genius of Jim Thompson guests can listen to Memphis music through custom-made Eggleston Works speakers. Memphis has played such an important role in the development of popular music that we wanted to highlight that. So the music is not necessarily just Memphis musicians or Memphis bands. It is um, writers, producers, bands that recorded in Memphis um, for, for, for the reason that it is Memphis. You can listen to the Memphis music in the hotel bar called Eight and Sand. In this sleek redo of the train station's waiting room, you might even see a Memphis music legend or two, like David Porter and Boo Mitchell. There's even a listening room appealing to the most serious music lovers. It's a small room that has a pair of speakers in it and a, a few chairs. It seats only about six people. So that one, that one was a lot of fun, and I don't think you're gonna find that, yeah, I know you're not gonna find that in any hotel, but you probably aren't really gonna find it in any public space uh, at all, ever. So it's really unique. When you're at the Central Station Hotel, there's no doubt that you're at the South Main Historic District. Um, and really where that's represented is in our art. We recruited a friend of ours who's a phenomenal photographer named Jamie Harmon. And so every guest room is littered with photographs that he took along the train lines. That was one idea of how we stay connected to the past and to the present, which is the fact that we are a train station. Um, and it's an active line that Amtrak has going to Chicago and New Orleans. And the other piece is uh, curating um, original pieces of art um, from Memphis artists as well as artists in Chicago and New Orleans. And so all of the public area art is hand-selected, hand-picked, and all that you experience is rooted in a Memphis feeling. Each of the rooms has a view of the downtown South Main Historic District or a view west toward the Mississippi River. Each is a little different in shape, designed from the nooks and crannies of the 106-year-old building. Looking back at the train station's transformation, it's hard to imagine that the project grew out of the city's desire to simply turn the train station into a transit center. But when legendary Memphis developer Henry Turley took the bait... I thought about it for a minute and I said, when the train arrives, you want someone that'll welcome them and show them a good time. 
Well, that's pretty easy. A hotel. So I picked up the phone and called Kim and Swills. I said, will you do a hotel? He said, well, will you go in it with us? I said, sure, if you just so I don't have to work. You've got to run it because I don't know anything about a hotel. I said, I've got one specification. When someone gets on the train in Chicago and buys a ticket to New Orleans, I want them to get off at your hotel and be so happy that they tear up the ticket to New Orleans. Stay in Memphis. And that's the only thing I did. And, and uh, from what I see, they've pretty well done that.